All right, YouTube, before we get started, I have one real quick note. I need you guys to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner, as that does go a long way to help me grow this channel, and every subscription does mean a lot. Um, if you guys like this video at the end, hit that like button, and if you got any questions, just drop a comment. I do respond to every single comment, so let's get into the video. All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, we're going to be doing something just a little bit different from what we usually do on this channel. Um, we're going to be trying out uh, Instacart. So for those of you guys that don't know what Instacart is, Instacart is a uh, platform just like DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub. Uh, but instead of delivering um, food from restaurants, we're going to be delivering groceries. Um, so what that means is we go into the store, the grocery store, and we get the groceries and we check out and then we drop them off at the house. So the reason I wanted to try this out is because Instacart does have a little higher payouts. I have done it a little bit in the past, like like five or six times, very, um, very little. But uh, I did deliver a couple 20s and a $30 uh, dollar order. So um, we're here to find out today if that extra weight, extra time in the grocery store is worth the extra payout at the end. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, YouTube. So we just arrived at our first order. Uh, we're at Sprouts Farmer's Market. Um, this is a $14 something order. Um, so there's only 10 items too. So that's why I accepted it and I was driving right past. So uh, we're going to go grab these items and I'll see you guys at the end. So we got all the groceries, they're in the back right here. Um, that only took us about 15 minutes to get all that stuff. So we're about 10 minutes away from her house. So we're gonna go drop this off, see how it goes. All right, guys, so we just dropped off that order um, for about 14 40 something It's not bad because we got it done in like a little over 30 minutes, so um, that's pretty good. All right, YouTube, so let's do a quick recap um, about Instacart. Um, that was $14, and I think my total time took me like 40, 45 minutes to do. Um, so $14 in uh, 45 minutes, that's like, that's about... That's a little less than what you do for DoorDash, but you're spending less gas too. So that's also something you got to think about. I think we spent like $2 in gas, a little less than $2 in gas um, on this on this one delivery. Um, but so that that is a nice thing about it. Um, do I think that we could like there's a potential to make money on Instacart? I definitely think there's potential to make money on Instacart. Um, I would say don't don't Instacart during peak hours of uh doordash and postmates times uh for dinner and lunch stuff like that i would stick to instacart more around the morning or in the afternoon if you're looking for something to do in between uh the, the peak times of uh, food delivery um so i definitely think there's potential to make money with this uh platform 
I just think that uh, it's 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 a little boring for me. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like growing, going to the grocery store and getting groceries. And it's kind of frustrating because you have to find the exact um, order that they're um, that they or the exact item that they're requesting. So um, that was a little frustrating. But there's definitely potential to do this in the downtime. I think. Um, if you guys are interested, I will leave my referral link down in the description and you guys can go ahead and sign up through there. Um, I think you complete 40 deliveries or 40 batches and that, um, helps me out. So I'd appreciate that guys. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.